But for real, I do want to get into oh, the uh, advertising segment. Because I have watched. Have I already advertised? Have I already simped for Johnny Jelly Jaw? I, I, I freaking have to. They are amazing. Right? Cause have, have either of you seen them? No, I have not. I have not either, I don't think. And so they are in character 100% of the time. They're gay and fabulous. They're a gooey slime. And they have a cowboy voice. Ooh. The Ooh. cowboy voice. I can't get over this. It's the, it is the most fantastic thing I've seen. <laughs> I, I subbed to them. I think they were the first person I ever subbed to. No, I subbed to Lufina first. Lufina's pretty good. They're kind of like you, Nephi, actually. They're a uh, forest spirit. Okay. But like on the other side of the world, they're in like, I want to say, a, a, a Norwegian country, such as Sweden. I think Sweden. I've seen them playing with a, a, another Swedish person, so maybe. Yeah, they're from Sweden. Yoni knows them. Good night, Yoni. Thank you so much for coming today. Oh, you want to make a pun? Uh, Noka redeemed and made to make a nature pun. Oh my god, you have to do this during the ad Oh yeah, that. yeah. You want me to do it now? Mm hmm. Yeah. All right. This will be this will be a spacey one since you know you you two are all about the space. All right. So. What did Mars say to Saturn? What did Mars say to Saturn? Give me a ring sometime. What? <laughs> that's, that's pretty bad. I'll give you that one. Ah, oh, that's good. That's great. That's great. <laughs> that's I so... had to control myself to not make a D's nuts joke. Well, you can make a D. I'm so upset you didn't make the D's nuts joke earlier when someone already saw that. I'm just so glad I don't have to redeem that. But, uh, well, you know, do either of you like CDs? Uh, CDs? Uh, no, tell me. CDs nuts on your face. I knew that was happening. I knew that was coming up. I was like, oh no. Oh no. I didn't see that coming. No. You 100% saw that coming. I was like, no, oh, I no, really no. didn't. I was like, CDs? What kind of, what kind of DVD joke is this? Uh, rest in peace. Rest in peace. I, I need to, I'm, I am too, I'm too gullible for this. Uh, I will never forgive myself for falling for that. It's okay, you're not the only one I've gotten with that one. So, um, just so everyone knows, if you like, uh, if you follow the program, if you, uh, we'll, we'll produce one of these every single week, and we're always looking for new guests, so don't be afraid to reach out or ask questions, fernia.galley at gmail.com. That's right, I'm an alien who got a gmail.com. fernia.galley at gmail.com. You can send all of your inquiries there. We'll answer them on the show, if they're advice questions, and we'll for sure have you. Hi, pastry boss, thank you for visiting. All right, I think we can actually move on to your segment now, Yank. Oh boy. Oh Are you boy. ready for it? You wanna kind of yeah, lift? Ready. You want to kind of lift your restriction for Nafi so she can join on? Uh, wait, wait, what? Feel oh, yeah, 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 she can join in, she can join in. Aw awesome. That's one of the questions on the forum, it's do you like interrupt them? Okay. Then we'll get right into it. Introduce yourself. Okay, I am Yiggy Evergreen. I am your neighborhood friendly pixie mecha pilot. Uh, let's see, I'm a shonen protagonist after going through the whole manga, anime, stuff like that. And now I work a nine to five job, just paying the bills and I stream to kill time. Okay. The, true, the true enemy is the nine to five. <clears throat> yeah, no, I can, I can follow that. So would you say the nine to five is more difficult than the villains you fought? Oh yeah, 100%, 100% more difficult, like mm -hmm. more difficult. Like, you know, with the villains, you can just like, Go and like do an EX plus alpha triple 100 strikes and like you don't have to deal with, with them anymore. But if you try doing that in a nine to five, then like <laughs> HR will go on you and like HR is not to be like trifled with. <laughs> HR, like, the final boss. <laughs> no, like I have no fear. And then HR, okay, one fear. <laughs> Oh my god, I could just kind of picture that though. So, so have you ever gotten in trouble at work for doing that exact thing? Mm -hmm. No, I think at work I tend to be pretty bored. I tend to be pretty boring at work. I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna do, uh, do my job. Um, I think the only thing that I 
got in trouble for would just be to watch like just watching streamers while at work <laughs> i think that's like the biggest i think that's like the only time i've ever gotten in trouble mm -hmm. just so you know if you worked for me i would always let you watch streams so you were yay yay yeah but now i get to work from home so i always watch streams <laughs> i always watch streams that's, while working that's true the the disease that is spreading on this planet has changed a lot of things yeah kind of nine to five is that anyways that attracted your attention uh let's see uh wait so can you repeat that question again what kind of nine to five is that uh let's see i do a lot of like um like i do a lot of qa work for like different software there for different softwares and then like also working with like a lot of devices i've worked with like a lot of companies and uh fortunately i can i can only be kind of vague about it i can't oh, say yeah. any like specific names I, otherwise they kill me it's it's just it's okay first off terrifying i think you're working for the bad guys why does everyone i interview turn out to be evil in the end what is hey. going on here hey i i am uh, i am good on stream you That's married you married the daughter of the last villain. I mean, yeah, uh, you know, that's that's fine. She she she's good. She she's good now, you know. She's I good mean, now, she's but she did crimes. But she hot though. But she hot. But she hot though. <laughs> that's a good. I, that's a good point. I can't fight that. Yeah, like come on. Like, you know, like you have the chance to like either, you know, you're like, oh, do I do I uh apply the finishing move or do I ask her out on a date? I mean, come on, those are those are that that has to go that debate goes in your mind instantaneously. You just gotta choose one. I think the finishing move is asking them out on a date in this scenario. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> No, there is no more effective finishing move than asking them out on a date. <laughs> yeah, and especially if it's a date inside watching Netflix all day. Exactly. Would definitely prefer that to doing evil and robbing banks. Yeah, because... or like, you know, trying to annihilate all of like, all of humanity and like, all of, uh, heat, all heat energy in the universe, you know, that That's... sort of thing. What's wrong with trying to annihilate all of humanity? Yeah, you know? And so we just, we just like Netflix and chill. My question remains unanswered, but I do have to ask, is it ever a little awkward that you, did you kill her father with like a up straight, he nah, smashed, whatever? Nah, her father's still alive. We just like, uh, we negotiated, we, you know, we, 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 we were like, hey, let's, uh, like my final battle was with her actually. That was the, that mm. was the actual final battle. She, she was the, the secret final boss. Yeah, she was the final boss. And then like with that, like, you know, after that, turned out we're like you know what hey how about we just like do the sensible thing and just like talk it out and have like a peaceful political negotiation and you know what that that worked out too that worked out too not the most climactic ending but hey it, it did the job done well i do have to say you sound more sensible than most anime protagonists that i've met on my planet of california so oops hey oops for that hey you know being a anime protagonist is really rough on the throat so like you know if you you gotta like take your wins like without without needing to shout out your final move like when you can yeah i mean so just yeah there's no need to i if you just got everything contro under control did you have, did you send him to the hospital though let's be real uh no, but like I am training to beat him in ping pong. Like uh, we did have a ping pong game, and then I found out that he was like a ping pong master. And now I'm in, now I'm in a different genre altogether. Apparently, right now. I love pong. I gotta go and uh, I, I I'm now. I'm now of a part of a ping pong anime, and now I gotta train to defeat him in ping pong. I love Pong! Where do I- I- I'm ex I am so excited for this. That's the only game we have out in space, is Pong. Yeah. I've discussed this with my chat. We have Xboxes, yeah. but they just play Pong. Pong's the only space game. You mean they don't have Uno? They don't have Uno? There's no Uno on have, the they Xbox! They don't have Tetris? <laughs> yeah, they There's don't have no Tetris. There's no Tetris, we just have Pong. Man, I thought all Xboxes have Uno. <laughs> we don't have Space Invaders. Why would we have Space Invaders? The Galactic Federation forbids that kind of violence between nations. Screw the Galactic That's Federation. True.
That's I, true. That's I hate true. the galactic like, federation. You know, like exactly. Some, that is like a people that is being depicted as like a horrible entity, and like you're mm -hmm. just doing a, this destruction of them. So like, I suppose I can see where that would cause issues. You know. Basically, all violence is outlawed. Kind of a deal. Oh no! Oh no! But how do you how do you have like philosophical debates via sword fighting? You stick them through the chest with a sword. I know, but like you know, like if out violence is outlawed, how do we have like two hot guys fighting in the rain and then like you know shirtless well there's no rain in space i mean you realize this right i mean there's meteor showers right there's meteor yeah, showers that counts i don't think <laughs> if you tense under a meteor shower there is something wrong with your brain <laughs> Hey, it's 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 nice aesthetic. It's nice aesthetic. Come on now. It is a good aesthetic though. I like the Yakuza games a lot, and that's just shirtless men beating the shit out of each other in like rain and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It happens in a lot of the game portions. Yeah, you know, you know when things are serious when like I just like take off my jacket and then like <laughs> yeah, that's that's serious time now. Oh yeah, I want to see you take that off. Um, uh, I'm using Fugi I'm using Fugi Tech React. I can't I can't do that. Maybe one day. Maybe one maybe day. Maybe one day. One day. Um, but hey, hey, if you if you want to see G if you want to see Yigi take off the jacket, go to uh, uh, twitch.tv slash Yigi Evergreen, and then, and then you can redeem it for my absolutely. If you if you do a like that collab in chat, you should get yeah. There we go. Uh, there we check go. out their streams. Make sure to follow them. Yigi does get kind of shirtless. Not Alexander Moo shirtless though. I think well, Alexander the, 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 the plug suit, the plugs, the, the skin, the plug suit stays on all, I all times. Yeah, yeah. I, by the way, it's a plug suit, right? Lift yeah. up your thumb. Just do the talky thing where you lift up your thumb. Yeah. You know the little, the little dot on the bottom of it? Yeah, yeah. That has a reason, right? That, that's there for a reason. Oh yeah, that's where I channel my pun energy. I am, I am sorry. Yeah, you know, like whenever, <clears throat> So whenever I like make a really like terrible pun and then like that adds up. To, so I have the gem in like my chest too, right? So every time I, <clears throat> so every time I go channel my, um, I, I say a pun, it adds up to the power. So mm -hmm. when I do a, a finishing move, it builds up all the pen energy I've built up into one concentrated blast. And so that's where uh, that small gem is where like that pun energy is concentrated into. So, so it's not for linking into your mech, nothing like that. Oh, that, 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 that's true because the mech is also powered by pun energy. Oh my God. This is somehow worse than my ship, which is powered by lesbian energy. Hey, hey, there's 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 also alternate forms of energy. There's also love energy, which is, you know, powered yeah, by love when energy me and my the most me, me and the missus are being me and me and the missus are being insufferably cute. Aw, that's so cute. Yeah. I love you, honey, if you're watching this. I love you. <laughs> oh cute. I I Oh, you have to get going? I wouldn't say bye to my crudy. Bye. Bye, Sarah. Hockey. Yeah. And then there's also a uh, hot, and then there's, you know, it's also powered by hot, hot blooded shonen protag energy too. But you know, you gotta have to have multiple sources of power, you know, you can't just- I have to ask, has there ever been a moment where like, instead of fighting, you just got stuck in a loop yelling at the other shonen protagonist, antagonist? Oh yeah, of course, of course. Like, and then like eventually like midway through, we had to have like a little tea battle and stuff like that. So- A tea like, battle? Okay. Yeah, because like our throats are dead, so we have to like <laughs> figure out competitions through other ways, like maybe like a thumb war or like a like you know who's who can brew like the better cup of tea. Are, are you, you gonna know, cheat? Just, are you gonna you cheat know, like, when you brew the, a cup of tea too, like the pickles earlier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like you know, one hundred percent. Like you know, like the like you you like you know. The Shona protagonist really is the one who just wins in the end of the day. So like, you know, when they're not looking, you just take out the tea in your thermostat. I and you're mean... like, oh look, I brewed this already. Why, you're still boiling your water? Get good. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, are you talking about a fight between two different protagonists? Like across the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, like, in the end of the day, uh, everyone is their own protagonist. Uh, everyone is their own protagonist in their own story. So, you know, um... So then the person who gets labeled as the bad guy is the one who loses.
I'm pretty sure I'm the antagonist in my story. Wait a moment. Nah, you be the protagonist of your own story. That's universal. If we're I'm following Team Evil, I mean, let's... So, so you've mentioned, you've mentioned that um, you fight in a, in a map. We've kind of discussed this. <laughs> Can I get That's a new correct. narrator for my story? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Makoka, never change. But yeah, so you, you, you're in a mech right now. You're, you, we're getting live feed from inside the map. You're getting live feed from within, from, uh, from, from the mech. Because, uh, you know, as a very small, as a very small pixie, sometimes, uh, sometimes a camera doesn't want to focus on me, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, like, if I, if I had to stream, like, just with my regular body, yo, my webcam is going to be, like, messed up. Like, have you tried, like, I've, have you tried to like focus on really tiny things with the webcam? It just doesn't do it. It just doesn't want to work. And so I have to be inside the mech so the cam so that the webcam can like detect. Yeah, it. absolutely. I totally understand. Hey, what you doing? I I'm, I'm looking at the screen <laughs> right now. <laughs> I just I just want people to get an idea of actual size. Yeah, yeah. You're but yeah, I. I am a tiny. I am. I am a tiny pixie that's inside the mech, and sometimes that. That mech pilots another mech. I am, I am sorry, how many layers deep does that go? I mean, like, two or three, maybe, you know, because, like, here's the thing, here's the thing with mechanical parts, because pixies have an inherent allergy to metal parts, right? Okay. So most of the metal parts you have to get are usually only, like, dwarven-made or human-made. So like, you know, you gotta like work with those constraints and there's only so much you can do by like making everything pixie size. So like, if I have to make a mech that is like for intended for human purposes, I, that obviously means that I need a mech that's human size to pilot the bigger mech, right? Okay, I'm, I'm following. So you get in the human size mech and you pilot the bigger mech, but yeah. what if the bigger mech isn't big enough? Mm -hmm. Like. If I, it, I mean, then we get into like Tengen, Topo, Garen, Logan levels, and then we get like eventually we can get to galaxy level, like galaxy brain, like level of mechs, you know, where we're just throwing suns around. But I haven't gotten to that point yet. Haven't gotten to that point yet. yet. Is that a promise? You plan to? Of course, of course. Because, like, you know, I live in the mech tree right now. Appar eventually it'll be a mech planet, and then we get the mech galaxy, and then we get the mech universe. I guess I guess that's the only way to fight Uchinoko. So thank you for the advice on that end. Yeah, you just, I mean like yeah, you just gotta get a mech the size of the universe to fight Uchu. Exactly. You know, it, it, I mean like we 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 have like a few steps behind. You know, if Tengen Topo Garen Lagan has taught us anything, like we can get mechs that that big. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone knows all anime. It's real. That's yeah. why we're here now. Exactly. But speaking of, yeah, you're the final boss of space. You're the HR of space. Uchinoko is just the biggest thing out there. I wonder if that means they're a superstar too, because idioms work both ways. Mm -hmm. But I have to ask, since, since you are inside of a mech, right? And it right. is a mech inside of another mech sometimes. Is it cramped in there or do you have like a lot of elbow room? Like what's the kind of space you're working with? Uh, it's pretty space, you know, I mean, for me, it's pretty spacious, but it can get, I mean, it depends, it depends. Like I, 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 like, I feel like it's comfortable enough, but if you tried to get in here, I think you would, you would find it kind of cramped. I, but for I me, can fit um, into any and there's space. There's enough room for a toilet in here. There's enough room for the toilet. Well, that's good. I mean, I wouldn't want you, like, peeing into a cup inside of your mech. I know. Like, <laughs> people must, people underestimate how important the toilet is, you know? Yeah. Like, if you don't have a toilet, then, like, what kind of savage barbarian are you? Exactly. I do want to, I do want to challenge your claim for a moment here, just so we're clear. I have no bones in my body. I can definitely Perfect. fit inside your mech. Okay. All right. All right. And that's fair. That's fair. I think that'd be kind of like that, that imagery is kind of horrifying, but yeah, I'll accept that. Well, I can fit into anything. So, I'm just letting you all know. Are you, so like, it, it, like, are we going to have like a scene of like, you know, like I'm streaming with, hey, hey everyone. And then it's just you just coming out of like my, like bursting out of my body. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I'm hijacking this stream. 
I'm the parasite inside of your body. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like an alien, just like, blah! <laughs> Oh my god, a different kind of probing. Exactly, Ocho. Exactly. No, I'm just uh, saying, like, I don't have anything in my head. It's all hollow. I, just, I can just kind of squish it down. There's no bones in my body. I could just squeeze in there like an octopus. Okay. Okay. So you, so you have more identifying with like jellyfish and like octopus and stuff like that. Sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, we're made of the same stuff, generally Ooh. speaking. Is there a peanut butter fish? Like, uh, like out of curiosity, do you know, like, do you know if there's like exists like a peanut butter fish and then like if they hang out with like the jelly, if they hang out with jellyfish and we can have like peanut butter and jellyfish sandwiches or something like that? Well, if Lilo and Stitch has taught me anything, yes. The answer is yes. Cool, cool. I don't know your Earth planet very well. We have actually a lot of unique species of uh, plants and and fish on this island I've never seen before. Um, I don't know how to identify them. I'm not like a plant genius, like Nuffy, if I'm being mm -hmm. real. Well, if you... I do know that like we got some really crazy stuff at the bottom of the o like bottom of the ocean. Yeah, did you know you had a leviathan down there? It's like I want to call it a leviathan. It's swimming uh, around my island. I can't leave. You know what? I think I wouldn't be surprised if there's a leviathan there, but that's like chump. That's like a chump in the ocean compared to the like coolest the coolest underwater creature, which is the mantis shrimp. What's the mantis shrimp? Okay, okay. So the mantis shrimp is a shrimp that. Okay. It has focused all of its evolution points into its punching capabilities. Oh my god. So it it can punch so hard that it makes a shock wave that causes enough force like equal e that equals a bullet. So uh, you're telling like, me that Earth has a species of shrimp that's just bullet hands Mickey. Yes, yes. We, people have like <laughs> put like uh mantis shrimps in like captivity and then the mantis shrimp will like punch the glass and like cause cause it to crack. Oh my god. That's... Yeah, and they'll just see a fish and just like punch it and then just like that's how they get that's how they get their uh that's how they get it. It's it, they're the coolest they're the coolest sea animal ever. Hey Nuffy, are you still here? So, you know, like, what hope does a leviathan have versus a punching shrimp? I, I, yeah, I mean, that's a shrimp that can learn kung fu, right? Yeah, exactly. That shrimp can learn kung fu. Oh my god. That shrimp can, like, channel the power of, like, the dark hodo and then, like, <laughs> do, like, a 100 hit combo. 100 hit combo, that's a lot of hit. Um, I yeah. kind of do have a question, which is... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Nuffy. Quick question. Sorry, I was coughing. Have you ever been a mantis shrimp? Have I ever been a mantis shrimp? No, I have not. Mm. Currently, currently, you've become the it strongest sounds... creature on Earth. They sound pretty cool. I might try it sometime. Okay. No, no, Gavin. That's all I wanted to share. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But so, Sorry. so you know martial arts, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know martial arts. Yeah. Trained by a master. Or mistress? Uh, let's see. I was trained uh, by a. Um, I was me? trained by a mall, someone at a super at a at a mall who, uh, uh, where you can refer verbally call these uh, these places McDojos. <laughs> yes, I was I was trained by a master who apparently fought in a hundred kumites. Apparently, but uh, you know, like that that might be that I tried googling said kumite and that might not be in question. So you just kind of, you kind of got the white belt from a mall. Yeah, you know, like, And, and you know, took like, it to the limit. You fought the Dark Lord. Yeah, but you know what? Hey, I believed in myself, and yeah, I was able to, been able to do good. <laughs> so where did you get your mech pilot fr license from? Also the mall? Like... Um, uh, I mean, I was, I'm like self-taught there. Like, I, I'm self-taught right there. Oh, so, you, you know, so like, you're... You're driving these mechs around without a license. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, you know, um, I, 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 got, I got my accreditation online, you know, they have mech pilot license on there. You take like a, like a one month, you take a one month course and then yeah, you're good. That sounds fishy as hell. And I'm not talking about the kind of fish that Nuffy can turn into. <laughs> but I'm piloting a mech, so what cop, what cop's gonna pull me over? Um, fair point. God damn it. We don't have a rest of you on the program. <laughs> I had to reschedule the resto. I would have looked over my shoulder and been like, 
Now is the time. Make the arrest. Yeah, I'm the pro. I'm the protagonist in this story. I can do what I. I, I, I can do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's a scary claim because, like, if you can do whatever you want, you can just violate physics. I mean, I mean, you know, that's fine. Physics, physics, be damned. Oh my God! I just realized something. Shonen protagonists make the best batteries. Are you that following me? They can just violate true. the I laws am... of thermodynamic. I mean, like, I am battery sized as a as a pixie. Like, I could probably power. I think I could probably power up like a, a TV remote. Yeah, I was about to say, can I stick you in the, like the TV remote and like close the lid behind that, or do I have to poke? Yeah, holes but you'll in need that? to feed me. You'll need to feed me, and then I um I, I am expecting like full benefits, 401k mm -hmm. stock options. Well, I've, I've feed told him you. Pickle plums. <laughs> yeah, yeah pickle plums. Uh, let's see. I've I've told uh, you if you work for me, you can watch streams. Okay, okay. You watch, Not stream, a bad uh, watch streams. But then like the but then like you know like you know like I got to bring money home to like feed the mm -hmm. miss the feed, uh, feed the misses and like I need I also need my like work life balance stuff like that. Uh, that that part might be a little bit of trouble. We used to have a consistent income around here, right? I would go on to ships and I would look around and I would find contraband and helpfully take it off of their hands so they didn't get arrested for us. Bernia, are you a narc? Are you a narc? No! Narc, no, I would never. Oh, I, like, good. I okay, just okay. happened to work in a requisitions business. Oh no, Fernia, you're a nyark. You're a nyark. <laughs> <laughs> no, I no, it. I just threaten them, okay? It's totally fair okay. to take contraband to help pirates so they don't get in trouble, you know? Yeah, yeah, but then like, but you're, you're, you're totally a nyark though. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I hate us. I'm not That's in your like, well, you're, you're taking an extended vacation on Earth, though, right? I mean, if you can call my ship impacting with the service of this island an extended vacation. Yeah, what about an extended vacation? I could, hey. I could use some, I could use some tips learning how to fly better. Hmm. I mean, I'm the best pilot out here, but you're, you've got a tree-sized mech. Yep. I got a tree-sized mech, and it's it's actually like it's actually kind. You know those trees that are like that kind of grow into each other. So it's technically three trees, actually. No, I don't know those things. Yeah, like there's a there's a type of tree that's like you know like when tree like trees like hug each other, they kind of like merge together. You know, so mine's kind of like three trees merged into one. Two of those trees are the arms, and then like the main the main tree big tree chunks like the main body. Okay, so it's like. It's like you did a fusion down. Yeah, and then also like attached a couple of like robot parts to it, and then like yeah, like you add like a turbo, you add like a giant engine to like the fit to like the parts that look like arms, and you got like a rocket punch right there. You didn't use the mantis shrimp from earlier. That seemed like the smarter idea, more natural. Yeah, but the mantis shrimp, like I can't, I can't, I can't uh, get a mantis shrimp in captivity long enough for me to actually channel that they're power. They're too, they're too much of free spirits. They're too, too powerful. They're too powerful. too powerful. Yeah, if you like try to like put one inside of like a power sort, like a power containment field, uh, they'd like break out and kill you. Oh, so it's like SCP. They... Yeah, like I would be like, I'd be sitting in my mech seat and then all of a sudden like my, I, I just like, my head would turn 180 degrees as this mantis shrimp has just assassinated me. Oh God, I can't make the cracky sound with my neck, but usually I can. It was like crack. <laughs> yeah. I, I just, I'm imagining like a bunch of mantis shrimps running around with white butts that they got from McDojo. I think that's <laughs> roughly equivalent to the power of the shonen protagonist. But then they gotta fight the Roomba army, that's, the Roomba army that's building up in Nep's forest too. Yes, that's true. Yep, um, yep. You, this is why, cause she has the sea right next to her. This is why she's building up her army. Mm -hmm. She has to protect herself. Nep is protecting yep. the world from the mantis shrimp, the mantis shrimp McDojo. Yep. Uh, <laughs> the McDojo. Yep. That's it. You got it. <laughs> I do have to say, like, can you pilot a, a Roomba from the inside? Mm, not from the inside, but I can totally like do it, like pilot it like rodeo style, you know, just like take like two reins and just like, you know, turn it around like that, you know? I need this fan art now. I, I do need this fan art too. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god, I think we're just gonna have a swarm of Roomba fan art at some point. I can't get over these Roombas. Roombas are cute. I love Roombas. Do you think a Roomba... I've named, I've named my Roomba Kirby. You have a tiny Roomba? Yeah, a Roomba named Kirby. Ah, what if the Roomba... Okay, so this is... Now we're going into Grey Goose situation. Because this is a Roomba that's smaller than a normal Roomba, right? Right. And it's it's small to all of us. It's like a microbot, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. What if that Roomba needs a Roomba? Oh, oh no. Then we're we're getting into like string theory, like string theory Roombas of like, you know, does the Roomba actually exist, you know? Or like you're getting to an infinitesimal, like the, really small point close to zero. The, the and Roomba. Then actually, but... actually at that point we reach we reach the infinite, we reach the we get at the entity known as the infinity Roomba. <laughs> As we approach closer and closer to zero and closer to the void, we have the Infinity Roomba, which is the oh. most powerful of all Roombas. Oh no, did we just make a religion? <laughs> the universe is the Roomba and we are all inside its vacuum bag. You know, I'll like, hail the Roomba, I'll worship the Roomba. Like, if you like zoom in super close into the Infinity Stone, uh, I think you just see a Roomba. In there, just, know? just a tiny little Roomba. Plug it just away. Tiny little, just, just a little tiny little Roomba. At least the Roombas haven't figured out how to look. I know. Like if the Roomba, if the Roombas have figured like stuff out, like we're doomed. We're doomed. We're how do you get my really Shonen's Protag energy can save us all? So, so how does the tree move? Is it like the roots like uproot themselves? Are they like feet? Is that a tripod? Like that, like that movie War of um, the Worlds, which was yeah. autobiographical about me. I mean, someone else. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'd say that like, like, like you know, legs pop out, like legs pop out and starts moving. It is kind of slow. It is, it is kind of a chunky mech, you know. Mm -hmm. Like but, you know, like yeah. big slow, like you know, like big slow max. Uh, also, like there are also speakers attached to play the theme song. Wait. <laughs> you bring the theme song with you. That's where, where, where else would I put the bat? Where, where, where else would I put the bass, you know? You didn't send me your theme song. You should have done that. You could well, have played it I, right I now. Sent, if, I, if I sent the theme song, then like Twitch would like go crazy because of, you know, like- Oh, you have a lot of like enemies. That. Yeah, you have a lot yeah, of enemies. So got, I, got I got enemies down. So if I put like theme song down, then like, you know, uh, you know, like, you know, Twitch, Twitch bots would go like take, t take the channels down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We know what Twitch as, bots as much as, our a hero down. as I am. There's no, there's no hero in the world that can deal with the music industry. Do you think Nuffy's running some of these Twitch bots with all of her Roombas? <laughs> nah, nah. I think Nuffy wouldn't. Nuffy, Nuffy wouldn't do that. Probably. No, not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't trust her. Uh, uh, we don't know. Uh, we never know. Uh, Ernia, yeah, you just signed your, you just signed your death warrant. <laughs> no. You're now a target. <laughs> it's okay, I'm oh. safe. She can't get to me here. You're on an island surrounded by water. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait. I will suggest I will suggest if you if you do want to gain oh, more no. power, you need to just be able to drink more pickle juice. I'm I'm sorry to say for you. I can't I can't drink more pickle juice. If you make me yeah. drink more pickle juice, I will cry. Yeah, that, that's I'm 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 sorry to say that's like the like the main like main requirements of being a mecha pilot or a good mm -hmm. pilot in general you just need to be able to just down shots of pickle juice okay and so it's like it's got energy on it yeah for exercising yeah, yeah. it just you you need that energy. you need that you need to be able to channel the power of pickles mm, that's true if i could channel that pickle power nobody could stop me yeah yeah peter pike Peter Piped a Peck of Pickle Peppers. Peter Piper Pecked a Pickle Pepper. Well, how does that thing go again? Peter <laughs> Piper Pecked a Pickle Pickle Pepper. Pe Pepper. Pickle Pickle Piper Piper Pickle Peter. <laughs> Peter Pipe Packed Pickled Pepper. Peter Powers Pickles. Peter Pickling Peppers. <laughs> Peter's Power Pickle. <laughs> Peter's Power Pickle. <laughs> Taste the Peter's Power Pickle. You'll become oh, stronger. No, with the Power Pickle. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Speaking of powerful pickles, you were having a little bit of trouble and you needed some advice. I I do, I do need advice. I do need advice actually. Speak into my ear, okay. my little one. Okay, so um I don't know if you know about murder hornets, but uh the murder hornets have been um 
taking out the local bee population where I where kind of close to where I live. They they've kind of invaded, you know. Mm -hmm. And now we're trying to like figure out where these like murder hornets live and like give them the, give them the boots. But they're tricky. Plus they're more murder hornets, and I'm a pixie size. These things are the size of me. Like, have you have you seen what a murder hornet looks like? No, I haven't. But I have a good idea. They probably go around in in mass and yeah. have little knives and guns and stuff oh like these guys like these guys are scared like murder hornets are scary so like and they take out the local bee populations uh so so no joke and the local bee populations haven't gone through like you know they haven't like gone through selective breeding to uh like train themselves on how to take them out so, and you know we gotta protect our local bee populations yeah. so how do we how do we handle these murder hornets so not to be on your uh, have you tried getting police to arrest them for murder? Uh, sorry, but they murdered the police. I'm sorry. Oh, they murdered the police. So we're yeah, dealing with like super villain terror bugs yeah, and insects. Yeah. And there's a lot of them. They're kind of... Okay, so I think I know what you need to do. The fact of the matter is that all of these murder hornets are murdering because they can tell that these aren't murder hornets, right? They're right. bees. They look different. Yeah. So, since teaching them about how racism is bad probably won't work because they're pretty focused on this murder thing, you need to teach the bees how to be hard on the street. You oh, need to give okay. the bees murder classes. Okay, okay. So, I just, we just arm all the bees with glocks. <laughs> yes. So, so you're a tiny little fairy. You can make things this this detail, this intricate. I'm sure you know someone who can do it at least. No, I think it'd be easier to just, I think it'd be easier just to make them coordinate each other so that they can learn how to just like handle human sized glocks. Well, I was know? thinking, I was thinking we have the bees dress up as murder hornets too. Oh, okay, okay. So ninja, ninja. So do you, we want these bees to be ninjas, right? Mm hmm. We teach them how to murder, we have them dress up as little murder hornets. <laughs> And then we uh, unleash them on the population of humanity. Wait, am I supposed to be helping in this situation? I don't, I think we're causing another villain to occur, to be real. There is no problem that can't be solved by the uh, addition of more bees. That's true. Oh, oh, let me tell you about how actually like, um, cause they're, cause these murder hornets come from a different place, right? And the way that the native bees in from because they the, the problem is I think that these murder hornets got like chased out by from on their home world, you know? Oh yeah. I've been to a uh, bee what, planet like, before. The They're very nice. That, yeah, okay. So the way that these bees ha like handle murder hornets is that they like surround they they surround uh a murder hornet and then they like buzz their wings at like super fast speed so they make like a microwave and they microwave these uh, the murder hornets to death. I am terrified by the species on your planet. Can I leave? Can I get out but of they here? Make really good honey, but like these bees make really good honey though. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. That makes sense. Totally fair. They make good honey. Yeah, they make good honey. What does the mantis shrimp do? Make good honey? The mantis shrimp just looks cool. The mantis shrimp just looks cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His like the mantis shrimp's like shells like suit like rainbow fluorescent color too. Mm -hmm. So it's like the most fabulous shrimp ever. Fabulous shrimp. Oh my god, I can just picture it now. Bees kill hornets, not hornies. You're safe. You say that now. <laughs> you say that now. Yo, yeah, all my homies love hornies. We have actually been having something of a bee problem at my ship. Oh no. Actually oh, getting no. out of hand. I think they built a nest nearby. There's a lot of wasps. Oh, things. okay. So like Wasps, wasps are not bees, but like bees, bees are, if you have bees, then that's like, that's fine, right? You know, yeah. I, I, I get local honey from like the local bees in the area. So, you know, we're all in pretty good relationships, but you know, those wasps, like, yo, F those wasps. Can you talk to bees? Are you a bee? Nah, we're just neighbors. But you can talk you know, to like, them. Like, they'll be like, you know, they'll be like the uh, beehive next, uh, like, built in the mech tree, you know, like that. And, you know, I'm just like, hey, just like, you know, I'll pay rent, you know, if you pay rent, and you know, you'll, 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 like, uh, I'll be cool. And they just pay rent, they just pay rent in, hun in honey. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. And, and in regards to the wasps, I think we have this abandoned ruin right next to my ship. It's, mm -hmm. 
it's been abandoned for a while. Maybe there was some kind of disease that caused it to not be maintained oh, or no, something. Oh no, they saw that wasp issue. They, they they saw that wasp issue and they're like, oh, we can't we can't we can't take this anymore. So they just left. They just left. Yeah. They're Anyways, so so, so th I think the wasps are coming from them. Mm. So I guess I have to dress up like a murder hornet and blend in with them. Yeah. You're, you 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 just kind of have to live. You just kind of have to like get real with the streets and just like you know like put on that you put on that wasp costumes. Like yo, my fellow wasps, how you doing? <laughs> hey, fellow cats. <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> Absolutely. I I just don't know how to. I okay. Tiny f things, right? You think you could just step on them? Right? Nah, they're too fast to step on, like, especially if they fly, you know? Are you too fast to step on? Uh, I'm too strong to step on, so, like, if you try to step on me, I'll just deadlift you. Okay, but what if I try to step on you in, like, a nice way? Would you still deadlift me? Mm, yes, I, I, I deadlift you, but in a nice way, too. Oh, okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. You know, like, I, regardless, I'll deadlift you, but it's just, I just match the energy that's Wait, like, are, thrown at me. when you fought, like, the, the bad guys and stuff, were you inside the mech, or were you just the little fairy? Inside the mech, but sometimes the mech gets damaged enough, and so I just, like, jump out and go for the eyes. <laughs> oh, God, a karate chop to the eye would definitely solve a lot of issues. I know, right? Like, you know, like, you know, like, like I learned a lot from Attack on Titan, you know, on how to deal with, like, big giant like you know big giant people for me that's just like my like the day-to-day -day, right so in case the giant mech goes down i'm like okay i attack on titan this stuff okay well, i even have the jet i even have like the little like uh grappling hooks too for all that too i mean that's not bad that's a that's a good plan i i've i i never finished attack on titan it just rubbed me the wrong way yeah that's fair that's fair it's not for everyone yeah, I, I mean, I like giants. It's kind of messed up to like giants like that. I have a giant as one of my staff members now. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's cool. I have a, I have a, a, a personal trainer that I like go to for working out, and I, mm -hmm. his name's Ogresan, and he's he's huge. He's huge. Oh, oh, I'm excited now. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's okay. <laughs> He's huge, say. Do you have his number? Could you could you share it with me after? Yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I cannot give out information like that. <laughs> You're no fun. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But like, I I have been in like the situation of uh, someone giving out like personal details and just like yeah. getting a call from a random solicitor yeah. and being like, "Yo, like, are you single?" I'm like, "Um, no, I'm not." Unfortunately. Well, I guess I guess we're we giving wanna, out enough we, we personal do, details. Be in that awkward situation. Yeah, I, I guess we're giving out enough personal details on this program, anyways. Yeah. Like, you do model cuts. That's a personal detail I wanted to follow up on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know anything about these. I know that my critics are just like all over it. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. Sorry, I think you're cutting out a little bit on, on, yeah, on, on my end. Yeah, and it just happens. It's Discord. This okay, course, yeah. not perfect. Um, what I what I'm saying is that I have some crudies who are interested in models. I don't know the first thing about it. Like, do you paint it? Do you put stickers on it? Is it like building a ship? What's the deal here? Uh, it depends on the model kit because model some there are different model kits that like require different amounts of um, you know like assembly. Mm hmm. So some of the model kits are just like snap on, right? They just like snap together. You just have to like take them out and like snap, you know, like snap them together fault per instructions. Right. Um, there are also um, other like figures and stuff like, there are actually more like figurines and stuff like that, which you need to like glue together. Oh. Um, and yeah, like some of them require painting. Some of them, uh, the color is uh, like pretty much like injected into the plastic. Hi. Yeah. Um, so like, you know, you have model kits that are there. Um, so, but you can always actually just like paint, like you can, and yeah. then with some of these kits, you can like customize them into like your own thing if you like paint them as well. But, but what I have to ask is like, you're small, right? Yes. So that probably poses some obstacles when you're trying to build these things. Not real, not, not, not really. You get used to it. Like, you know, I've been working with human sized tools for, for a bit. Um, those like, are huge! No oh my like, god! If I, use, 
If I use a pixie size screwdriver, there's no pixie size screws everywhere, like like commonly made. So mm -hmm. I have to use human size screwdrivers and stuff like that in order to build stuff. So uh, it's he, a full body workout. That's why I work out. Yeah, I mean you got that ogre. You can clearly suplex me or whatever you said. Full deadlift. Yeah. Yep. Deadlift suplex. One of the one of the. It just one seems like you'd have some trouble getting leverage. Why don't you just do it in a tree? You came up. Mm. That's not as fun. Oh, it's not as fun. I guess that's fair. If you, I do have to pause and ask though. Do, are there actually screws in those models, oh. or did you just introduce screws for the hell of it? I like to introduce uh, let's screws. Let's see. I've for been getting halibut. into building like uh, garage kits recently, uh, mm -hmm. which actually involves getting a power drill and like drilling some oh holes God. into them, and then like adding some like wire rods. Drilling some holes. Mm. Yeah. 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 It's what so that there's about power tools? Yeah. Sorry, I'm. You know, yeah, I'm getting lost. And in also my IKEA furniture. Too. IKEA furniture. That's also. That's also. That also counts as a figure in model. In a model IKEA figure. furniture. Yeah. I didn't know that was considered part of the modeling hobby. I mean, like, not not commonly, but I think they're about the same. Does the IKEA furniture tin turn into a mech too? Just kind of stand up and wave its arms unfortunately, around. Unfortunately, unfortunately not. But you know what? I've been since I, I'm I'm living the married life right now. We had mm -hmm. to buy a lot of furniture, oh, and yeah. then like I had to use my like all the skills that I've been building up to with like model kits. I like looked at like this dresser, and I'm like, this is the same thing as building a model kit. Yeah, I mean, I follow that. Yeah. So if you if you if you're if you're kind of like intimidated by like model kits, you can always just build like IKEA furniture. And, just train. And just I train the yourself. IKEA furniture is functional. You can use that yeah, for things. Exactly. I've been looking at this this like couch from the LGBT collection. Ooh. I don't know if those actually were released or was just like a PR stunt. But holy shit, it's the coolest fucking couch. It's got like rainbows that the darkness is like melting onto and like feathers on the other side of it and i'm just like this is a villain couch this is a gay villain couch yo yo i would i would have that couch i would it's, have that, that couch it's so good it's the melting rainbow <laughs> i can't sponsor us i i kind of want a picture of this now I will, yeah, I will gladly this. share it with you i just maybe this is my end into modeling yep I think so. I think so too. Because like, I would whenever I suggest um, like someone get into modeling, I honestly suggest like find me like you know I give advice. Find a kit that like speaks to you or something that like invokes feeling in you, right? Because when you want when you're building a model kit, you want something that you can build like out of love, right? Um, and then if, if this couch, can, if this couch I, speaks to you, can I build a model to love? Yes. Of course. Ooh, I like this. I like where that's like going. they have eighteen plus anime figures. That you can build. Nice. I'll have to consider it if I'm that kind of scum. Yeah. You can get those that models are actually, Those models, funny enough, are actually the easiest to assemble and build. Really? Yeah, because like you don't have to worry about like assembling the clothes and like painting clothes and stuff with like nude oh. model kits. You just have like a couple. You only have to worry about skin. Do you, do you like? Do you get like a doll outfit for the outside of it? Uh, let's see. And and uh, and, and on that question. Do you wear like Barbie clothes since you're a pixie? Oh no, I just get the shrink ray and just like buy human clothes and shrink. Oh, you have a shrink ray. You've had a shrink ray this whole time and it just came up now. <laughs> yeah, but I only use it for clothes. You only use it for clothes. Is it like my ASMR? I can only produce dishwash. I can't produce dishwashing fluid with it, but I can do everything else. Yeah, like, like here's the thing. Like, why would I shrink stuff like yeah. food when I could just eat the human portions, right? Thoughts? I mean, that's true. What the hell does like, shrinking do to like the caloric contents of a meal? Yeah, like like you know that it just like kills all the fun. Like what like I why why eat like a, like here I don't get how humans do it, right? Like how like how do they not eat a cake that's like the size of them? It must be suffering. And it's it's probably suffering. I I don't really have any humans to talk to to ask that question. Maybe in the future. No yeah. luck, yeah. Or like like I cook, and also like you know, here's the thing: is that like everything is human size, and uh, sometimes uh, the shrink ray is like on the fritz, and then doesn't work. And so like I just kind of have to deal. I just kind of have oh. to deal and just you know cook, deal with everything all human size. Plus I have the mech on occasions, but you know. Sometimes I'm too lazy to put. Uh, well, I guess it, it's all a matter of laziness. 
Yeah, that's true. I guess if you had the mech, you could just make giant cakes for humans and see how they worked. We could yeah, do yeah. an experimental study on them. Mm -hmm. Speaking yeah. of experimental studies, I do want to thank you for coming on to the probe and telling me all about you and your species and mountains mantis shrimp. No mantis problem. Mantis shrimp. No, mantis shrimps. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say it right this time. Mantis shrimps and murder hornets. Mantis shrimps and murder hornets. And I want to thank you as well, Nuffy. Thank you for coming on the program. I really appreciate yes, that. Yes, absolutely. I had fun. Yeah. Um, just remember, we do this every week. If you follow and you, um, you know, like the program on YouTube, um, we can continue making more programs like this and we can explore the backstory of new people all over the place. I'm, I'm nice. just excited. I love working with VTubers. <laughs> So I want to thank everyone for coming. Um, I'm just going to do the collab, even though it's broken. So everyone can try and follow you guys. Fix Yugi's link. Thank you. I love you all yeah. very much. Uh, we're going to just switch over to someone else now. Okay. Um, oh, are we are we rating someone? I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a raid suggestion. Okay. Let's hear it. Uh, can you raid a Randon, Randon channel? Uh, Randon just... channel? Oh, yeah. that's the orc! I saw this guy yeah. a little while ago. Yeah, so he's like only like on he's he's kind of like doing like a Twitch test and like he he might be only stream like this might be like his last week of streaming on uh, on on Twitch. So like rate him while you have the chance and like give him a lot oh, of love. Oh yeah, absolutely! Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. I'm excited to see you all again next week. All right. Bye. Yes, thank you. See ya. See ya.